Hi, I'm Dennis and I'm an amateur collector of sewing machines. I like to collect the old sewing machines that are older than say 100 years old. Now, I brought two friends out here today. These are both Singer Model 12, also known as the New Family Sewing Machine. This one was made in 1871. This one was made a few years later. This one is a hand crank machine. It would be operated on a table, tabletop, and this one is a treadle base and would be um, operated by foot power. A working treadle sewing machine is going to be a real treat. Give me a little while to set it up and I'll show you how to sew fabric together with a treadle sewing machine. As you probably know, you sew fabric together using two sources of thread. You have your top thread, typically in a spool, and you have your bottom thread, typically in a bobbin. You're familiar with the bobbins that um, your home sewing machines today are in a round disc. Well, bobbins from long ago were in a shuttle. This particular style is called a boat shuttle for obvious reasons. On this style machine, the bobbin would shuttle back and forth every time you make a stitch. You would take your bobbin and just put it into a little cradle that holds the bobbin there. And just like you would find on a normal sewing machine, you Bring your bobbin to the top. And so you have both threads on the top. You power a treadle sewing machine with your feet. You typically use two feet, one foot on the back of the treadle, one foot on the front of the treadle, and you'd rock them back and forth. Let me just show you. Just like all sewing machines, you're going to take your fabric, put it in between your two threads, lower your presser foot, but on a treadle sewing machine, it's very tricky and very important to get your rotation going in the correct direction. So you're going to want to we'll stop there. And then we can make another seam. And you can see it makes a wonderful stitch. A little practice, you can get very good at this. I want you to look at that stitch. That's as good a stitch as you'll find on, on any of today's sewing machines. The difference is this sewing machine is 150 years old.